I just want to walk through my three questions that I've submitted to Say Technologies for Lemonade's Q2 results. I want to highlight these questions and why I feel they're important and maybe worthy of your upvote so they can be asked during the earnings call. Links to each question will be down below in the description of the video. So the first question is, at Investor Day, you laid out a plan to reach profitability between 2025 and 2027. Fast forward a few quarters to where we are now. How are you progressing on the path to profitability? Can you give a timeline update of when you think profitability will most likely occur? The most important thing right now for Lemonade is when will they reach profitability? Will they reach profitability and when will it occur? So if we can squeeze any little bit more of information out of them, could be really, really beneficial. So that's why I asked this question. Next question I asked is, how is the amount of give back calculated? Your website gives the impression that after a flat fee, the remaining premiums from each charity selected cohort are given away, but your S1 makes it seem more at the discretion of the board. Can you explain more how it works? But I wrote this short thread on the give back the other day on Twitter. I'll also link this thread down below in the video description. I explain the give back works, but where how Lemonade creates a cohort of customers who select the same charity in a given year. And then they look at the loss ratio of each charity selected cohort. So within each cohort, they then decide whether that cohort deserves to have any money given back to its charity. The website shows that can, up to 40% of the premiums can be given back to the nonprofit or charity that's chosen. But they're actually, if you read their S1, it's rather confusing because a lot seems up to the board's discretion. They said they can give up to a max of 40%, but they usually cohorts with loss ratios above 40%. So loss ratio over 40% we're talking now will not receive a give back typically. So, and this only was about 1.5% of earnings in 2018, 2019, and this year, uh, from 2022 to 2023 was only about 0.3% of earned premiums. And as I mentioned here in the thread, I'm not trying to discourage people about the impact of the give back, but as investors, I really want us to be able to understand how much are they planning to pay. So some clarity here I think would be really nice. Finally, my third question is, how is car rollout going? When can we expect car to be available in all states? When can we expect it to be more aggressively pushed out as a product? I ask this question because it seems up until now, that Lemonade hasn't really aggressively pushed car as a product. It's being added slowly state by state and with even within each state, it, they're having growth. But Investor Day, they talked about how there's over 300,000 customers waiting for car, 25% conversion rate from existing customers and a massive $320 billion addressable market. So I just wanna know better, how is this product's rollout going and when can we expect it to be available in all states and more aggressively pushed as a product? So thank you for considering upvoting these questions. Again, they'll all be linked down below. Thanks for watching. Remember, it's in the bag.